Hey guys, welcome back to the J Squad. In today's video, we'll be starting this new series that we presented with you guys in part three of going to New York and Italy. In this series, we will be giving out tips and tricks of all of our favorite video games. So, like and subscribe if you want, that is. And without further ado, let's start. So, if you guys are part of the J Squad, you shall know that my favorite character is Bowser Jr. So, that's the character I will always pick. And the Wiggler car and the blue azure, azure roller, whatever it is, that's the best, like, car setup that you can take. Now, you can use other cars just to have fun, but if you're trying to move fast, this is what you should use. Okay, for our first trick, we I'll be showing you a shortcut on Mario Circuit. GBA Mario Circuit. Okay, guys, so this shortcut will be on the final turn of Mario Circuit GBA. You see right here when you would normally think you would want to go this way, right? But no. On this track, you can actually go through the tires. So instead of going around that turn, you can just mushroom straight into the tire and it'll jump out of your way. Okay, guys, so for Yoshi's, for Yoshi Valley... There are three different viable ways to go on the multi-sectional car. So, basically, the only way that you should never, ever go is the rocket way. You see, you guys see that rocket? I'll show you the way that the rocket is real quick. You never want to go up this way. This way is the slowest way ever, and you will definitely lose if you go that way. But the three other viable ways are going down here through this tunnel, which is the second fastest way. This way right here is the second fastest way that you can go. Okay guys, so this next way that I'm gonna show you is the fastest way to go in Yoshi Valley. It might not seem like the fastest, but trust me, it really is. So right here, you just go simply go on this little hill right here, and then this right here is the fastest way to go. You can also go on the little bridge that, that I passed, but that is just way harder, and you have to be really good. But if you, if you are really good, then you can do that way. It's not really fast enough. Okay, guys, and the third way that I'm going to show you is the third fastest way. And I just figured this way out on my own, and I tested it, and I actually figured this out on my own. So if you go this way, the normal way, the better way to go is going this way through the tunnel that I'm looking at right now. But say there's like a banana blocking you or something, or somebody that you don't want to go behind, you could just turn this way, and you're basically getting the same amount of time as going inside the tunnel. So that's just some helpful trick for you guys. Okay, guys, and this is completely beside the fact, but uh, look at the car. What is it doing? I have never seen this before. This is kind of crazy, but okay. Okay, and most people would think, yeah, use your only mushroom that you have to go on this ramp, right? Well, no. The shortcut that I'm about to show you is actually a lot quicker than going on this ramp. It is a little bit harder, but this one saves so much more time. Like, look how quick that is. That's, it's way quicker. So That's it for Yoshi Circuit, guys, and you can see a split screen showing both of the ways. Okay, guys, so this shortcut on Neo Bowser City does not save a whole lot of time, but it is a pretty ch useful trick to know. So, basically, instead of on this um, glider going on the ground, you can skip the whole ground section. But you have to make sure you get a trick, and you have to pull down on your joystick to make sure that you get all the way to where the propeller is that lifts you back up into the air. And just to make sure you know, it'll be in slow motion on your screen right now. Just to make sure you saw it.
Okay, and for those of you that do have the booster course, there is a really good shortcut on Toad Circuit. But just like Yoshi Valley, you would think like, oh yeah, I have one mushroom left, I'm going to use the shortcut ramp, right? Well, no. Just like Yoshi Valley, this has a shortcut that's way faster than the actual intended shortcut. This shortcut I've got that I'm going to show you skips a whole entire U-turn. See? Okay, guys, you should see a slow motion replay of the Toad Circuit shortcut. But let me tell you when it's supposed to release your mini turbo. So you're supposed to release your mini turbo right when you hit the edge of the sand, guys. That's where you're supposed to release your mini turbo. That's all I have to say for the slow motion replay. Okay, and for those of you that have the booster course pass, this is also a booster course pass track. And so at the beginning of Sky Garden, there is this little leave shortcut that you would normally think, yeah, I need a mushroom to complete that, right? Well, no. It's actually very easy to do shroomless. You just have to make sure that you get a trick on at least one of the leaves. See? It's very easy to do as long as you get a trick on what, at least one of the leaves. And I'm not going to have a cut on this one because the track is just so short that we can easily get to the next shortcut. And this shortcut, my little brother Jackson actually came up with. And I was very surprised when he told me this because it's actually a very good shortcut. And it's at the beginning of the lap. And you have to go off this little thing right here and it sends you all the way like that. Now, it's probably not much quicker, but it's just really cool to do. So, that's it for uh, Sky Garden. Okay, and again, for those of you who have the booster course, this is also a booster course track. This track is part of new Wave 2, and Wave 2 was just released um, a couple days ago. So, on this one, there's actually these little bars right here in the middle of the track that you can get a little speed boost off of. So, every time you're driving right here, just drive into these, and you get a real good speed burst. And you can do it for all of them. So every time you're drifting, try and get as many of these boosts as you can. Because they're really helpful. They actually speed you up a lot. And for this one, I'm also not going to have a cut because there's no point. Because the shortcut is in the we can do it in the same lap. So. And this part right here... This shortcut is really cool and a unique factor of anti-gravity. Look at that. You like literally float up in the air. You skip like half of that U-turn. And that shortcut saves a lot of time. So that's it for Ice Cream Sunday. Okay guys, this is also a booster course pass that was released in Wave 2. But actually, this is actually a really cool shortcut. Because you skip a whole turn and it's a shortcut that you would call a respawn shortcut. So, the, re the shortcut actually doesn't work, but the way that you fall off the map, it respawns you in a place that really benefits you. So, this would be doing the track normally. You have to go all the way around that corner. And, you know, it's not slow, but it's not. Okay, guys, and for this shortcut, you, see, you guys see all the snow bands on the road? For the shortcut, you have to drift and turn right in front of the first snowman that you see on the right. So the shortcut is like this. You drive here, you have to drift and go right in front of the first snowman. And you'll get a respawn that puts you all the way on the ice. That's really good. And this shortcut is actually possible to do without a respawn, but you have to be playing on 200cc. So if you're playing on 200cc, you just do it the exact same way and you should just land on the ice and not have to get respawned at all. So that's about it for the video today, guys. Bye!